I am pleased to introduce the Honourable Melanie Jolie, the Minister of Canadian Heritage. Thank you. I'm very happy to be before you today. And of course, I would like to begin by acknowledging that we're on the traditional territories of the Mississaugas of the New Credit First Nations. And it's a pleasure to be here along with my fellow beloved colleague, John McCallum, Minister of Immigration, and of course, the local MP, Yasmin Ratansi, who is here with us as well. And Oui, j'ai eu l'occasion de, de, de pouvoir découvrir la, la, la très jolie, euh, la, la, la très jolie euh, exposition « Syria Living History » un petit peu plus tôt, et ça m'a touché droit au cœur. I had the chance to um, have a, a brief outlook of what is the exhibition « Syria uh, a Living History and, », and it touched me dearly because uh, John and I had the great challenge, and he was the leader of that um, am amazing uh, project to bring 25,000 refugees within two months, uh, just after being elected. And of all the experiences I had the chance to go through in the last year, and as a young minister, uh, greeting the first Syrian refugees at Trudeau Airport in Montreal was the most transformative experience that I had to, to, to live as a, as a politician. And also representing a riding in Montreal where there is a very big Syrian community, well, of course, that made me think of why I was in politics. So thank you for this exhibition. And of course, um, I had the pleasure of touring the exhibit um, with the curator's professor, Nasser Rabat, and Dr. Feliz Shakir Philip, along with Mr. Henry Kim, um, the esteemed director of the, this museum. So thank you so much for this opportunity. I was really amazed to see how over 5,000 years of arts and, and artifacts could be assembled to showcase the diverse cultures that have existed in Syria. The Mesopotamian, the Greek, the Roman, the Byzantine, the Persian, Ottoman, and of course Arab cultures have all inhabited the land we call Syria today. And they have all left their mark on modern day Syria and contributed to our world heritage. This exhibition has helped me reflect on my own role as Minister of Canadian Heritage as minister responsible for multiculturalism, a big part of my mandate is highlight the ways that diversity and inclusion contributes to what it means to be Canadian. Similarly, this exhibition links together heritage and multiculturalism and provides a glimpse into the positive legacy diversity can create for a future. Earlier this year, I had the honor of meeting with His Highness, the Aga Khan, and we had a great conversation regarding the importance of multiculturalism in Canada and its continued contribution to enhancing and enriching our national fabric. There couldn't been, uh, have been a better time for Syria a living history to be showcased in Canada. Over the last one year, we as a country have welcomed thousands, I think it's 31,000, John, at this point, 31,000 refugees displaced by the Syrian civil war. And this ex <laughs> This exhibition is an excel excellent opportunity for Canadians to learn more about Syrian history and, and culture with greater understanding and appreciation. I also had the chance to meet a month ago with uh, Dr. Rina Bokova at UNESCO in order to discuss the importance of preserving our world heritage. And Canada has been in the past at the forefront of the entire dialogue and conversation regarding the importance of UNESCO. And you can be sure that our government will reinvest 
in UNESCO and making sure that we're a world leader in protecting our world heritage. Et donc, c'est notre engagement répété à soutenir une société qui est inclusive, à faire en sorte que notre curiosité puisse nous aider à découvrir d'autres cultures et changer notre vision du monde. En fait, que c'est un plaisir pour moi d'être euh, devant vous ici et d'être la ministre en charge du multiculturalisme. Et grâce à des expositions comme celle-ci, nous avons la chance de stimuler cette curiosité. C'est une grande richesse. And I would like to thank the Aga Khan Museum and the Canadian Commission for UNESCO who have partnered together in order to bring this ex exceptional exhibition here. And I want to thank also Marilyn and Marshall Wolf, well, which I had the chance to meet a bit earlier, um, for their contribution, their collection of artifacts and collaboration with museums from around the world, including our own Royal Ontario Museum, have made this exhibition possible. So now I would like to declare the beautiful exhibition Syria, a living history um, officially open. Thank you. <laughs>